Hi, I'm George Cow. One of the questions that comes up when we're building our business is, what title do I call myself? Uh, maybe you, what you do is so unique that it's not an obvious title like, you know, real estate agent or uh, plumber, right? Maybe what you do is so comprehensive. Maybe you do different things. So what do you call yourself among the five different things you do? Well, here's my tip and uh, maybe a perspective that will help you to get unstuck on this, which is what's more important than what title you call yourself is to focus your efforts on doing great work and continuing to talk with your ideal audience so that you get to better and better understand what problems they have that they don't want that you can solve or, or what results they want that you can help solve that they don't currently have. And so um, I'll give you a couple examples of why it doesn't really matter what title you call yourself. Um, I mean, uh, I'll, well, I'll use my own example, right? Like I've, I started my business seven years ago. I've been doing full-time working for myself for seven years. In the beginning, my title was productivity consultant. Um, but then I changed it within three months to social media coach. And then in about a year later, I became known as the webinar expert. And then after that, I was known as the true livelihood coach. And today, when someone like at the dog park asks, so uh, what do you do? I say, oh, I'm a business coach. I, I mean, because I want to say something that they can easily understand. But if it's somebody that uh, maybe it's a peer or a potential, potential client I'm talking with who has seen a lot of internet marketing being um, too salesy, too aggressive, um, and I've engaged in that kind of world before. And so I will say I'm a reformed internet marketer. But of course, I wouldn't say that to somebody who doesn't know what internet marketing means, right? So uh, I, my perspective is you have as many titles as you have audiences that you're talking to. So whatever audience you're talking to, use whatever title you want. But the question is, well, what title do I use on my website? Use whatever title makes you happy, okay? And remember, you can always change it. A month later, change it. Three months later, change it. Um, I heard of um, uh, uh, Stuart Brand, very famous kind of futurist and, and author, and he, he, he's famous for using different titles every time he introduces himself. Um, so if you're curious, still I'm having a hard time coming up with the right title that makes me feel right and my audience understands, here's a quick exercise to, to do. Um, brainstorm 10 potential titles that you would be fine calling yourself on your website, for example, or in, on your business card, okay? Just 10 potential titles. Now, out of those 10 titles, once you've brainstormed, rank them so you come up with your favorite three titles out of the 10. Got it? Now, take those three favorite titles and ask your ideal audience. So um, ask at least 10 people who are ideal prospective clients or ideal clients for you or maybe ideal referral sources. Ask 10 people who are uh, ideal clients or, or people who could refer ideal clients to you. Ask them which of these three makes the most sense to you that, that, is, um, that you like the best. Makes the most sense and that you like the best. Okay, And see what their common response is. Uh, whatever they vote on, Go with that one because you already gave them three of your favorite choices and maybe give a fourth choice to say, if none of these, then what would you prefer that, that uh, what would you rather I call myself? So I hope that helps. Remember, more important than the title you use is that you do great work because if you do great work, it doesn't matter what you call yourself, people are going to find you and uh, they're going to refer you. So until the next video, I wish you well.